So to sum everything up, people, my aunt doesn't like me and thinks that I'm crazy. My aunt was constantly telling you know, my mom, you know, that, that, and me, that I'm the cause, I was the cause of all my mom's breakdowns, I'm the biggest stress in my mom's life, etc., etc., et cetera, okay. My aunt convinced everyone around her that if my mom goes and lives with, um, you know, that my aunt, if she can keep an eye on my mom, she'll be able to make her sister well again, that she, that's what she desires to do. That be, and of course my mom's going to jump at that because look, I was the one suggesting assisted living and whatnot. Okay, this is the same aunt, mind you, who told me a couple months ago your mom belongs in a nursing home. But my aunt is putting her money where her mouth is, and everyone's going to believe her because after all, she's so sure that her sister's fine and it's the daughter's fault that her sister has breakdowns that. She's going to, she trusts her sister to live alone in her apartment and cook. Like live in the downstairs apartment where Auntie is and cook. You see what happened here? Everyone that I know who's on my side, that's why they are just like, that's where they see this. And they're like, you should have taken the money and run, Laura. And then when I didn't, you're a fool. Because they see exactly what happened here. Auntie was, was saying she belongs in a nursing home. I was doing everything in my power to not have that happen. But I knew damn well my mom should not be living alone, period. I was living with her, observing her behavior on a day-to-day -day basis, 24-7, okay? But Auntie trusts her to live alone in her apartment and cook. In her, basically, it's not like Auntie took my mom into her own home, as we, you know, and she's doing the cooking. My mom is living in her own apartment and cooking, and that is which I was adamant should never happen. And I still feel that way. And that's why I'm in a state of shock. You know, it's like... <sighs> but of course, people who don't know, and Auntie can spin her stories and her sob stories and her whatever, like my friend on the street said, they're going to think, wow, the sister is so sure that she can make her sister well again and that the sister's only sick because of the daughter which I know is a bunch of hooey, and the people around me know is a bunch of hooey, the sister's going to trust Samantha to live in the sister's house alone, like, like cook and everything. And, and like I said, my aunt goes on vacation for weeks at a time. My mom will be completely alone. Not that often, of course, but it doesn't matter. It, it it's just astounding to me. Like I said, if anything happens, Auntie can't say that I did not warn her. Can't say she wasn't warned. She just can't stand me, so I have to be, and she's going to believe my mom, that my mom's fine, that she'd be fine. Like, my mom goes in these hospitals saying she'd be perfectly fine if I didn't yell at her all the time. Okay? That's what she, she clings to. She makes me the scapegoat. Auntie knows this because I read your text where Auntie said, yeah, she went and did that. And I told them she makes up stories about family. when Because, you know what I mean? But now Auntie, you know, she might live to regret, regret this. She's negating what I know and taking her chances with what, what I saw and allowing her sister to live alone. I don't care if it's a downstairs apartment. It's living alone and cooking alone and cooking her own meals. It's not moving into Auntie's house. Not even remotely. Astounding, huh?
based on everything that I told you guys, it's all the truth. Based on onto yourself saying just a mere couple months ago or so, she belongs in a nursing home. Auntie went from she belongs in a nursing home to I trust her to cook in my downstairs apartment. <laughs> my friend down the street says, how do you know she won't wander off and get lost? Oh, I'm sure she won't do that. I, like I said, the thing I'm concerned about, well, also, Auntie's not going to stand over her and make sure she takes her meds, but, like I said, my biggest thing, and I was justified, is that my mom can't live alone because she should not be cooking. And I based that on week after week, daily observations of her behavior in regards to other things that did not involve cooking. But that proved to me that something was funky was going on with her brain that was more than mere mental illness. Unreal, huh? I'm floored. Auntie's arrogance and hatred of me, even though she tries to hide it, could seriously bite her in the ass big time. Because it's arrogant to just, because you don't like me and you think I'm crazy and that I should be in the hospital instead of my mom, to negate what I know is the truth. That's arrogance, pure and simple. You don't live with my mom. You cannot know what goes on with her on a day-to-day -day basis unless you live with her. You can't know what goes on with her even